one of the many important functions of the cell membrane of a cell is to create an electrochemical gradient between the cytosol, the inside of the cell, and the outside of the cell, the extracellular fluid. Now the question is not how we create the electrochemical gradient, we're going to discuss that in the next lecture. The question is what exactly is the electrochemical gradient? So before we discuss the different modes of cell transport, let's define what an electrochemical gradient is. So let's begin with a concentration gradient or a chemical concentration gradient. So let's recall a concept from physics. We know that in physics, according to Brownian motion, if we take a molecule and place it inside a fluid, the molecule will collide with the atoms or molecules of that fluid, and as a result, that molecule in the fluid will experience random and rapid motion. So let's conduct the following thought experiment. Let's suppose we take a container shown in the black region and inside that container we have a certain fluid. So the atoms of that fluid are shown by these blue dots. So let's suppose we take, t uh, we take 12 molecules, 6 of those molecules are molecule A and we place those 6 molecules onto the left side of our container. And the other 6 molecules, let's call them molecule B, are found on the right side of that fluid filled container. Container. Now, separating the left and the right side is a semi-permeable membrane that allows both of these molecules to basically pass through. The question is, what exactly will take place over time? Well, over time, we're going, to look, we're going to get the following case in which we're going to have equal amounts of molecule A on both sides and equal amounts of molecule B on both sides. Basically, as a result of Brownian motion, molecules A and molecules B will be in a constant state of motion. And based on the law of entropy, the most mathematically probable state of our system is in which we have an even amount of molecules on each side. So this is the most probable state. And if we begin with state number one, where we have all the A molecules on the left side, all the B molecules on the right side, eventually we will develop the following state. So we say that molecule A moves down the concentration gradient from a high concentration to a lower concentration. So notice we had no molecules A on the right side and so A will move naturally from this location to this location and likewise the B molecules will move down their concentration gradient from a higher concentration to a lower concentration in the opposite direction of A and eventually we will have an equilibrium that will exist and our concentration gradient will basically cease to exist. Now, according to Brownian motion, molecules A and molecules B will still move across our semi-permeable membrane, but there will be no net change. So we take six molecules A and place them on the left side of a fluid filled container. We also take six molecules B and place them on the right end of our container. These two sides are separated by semi permeable membrane that allows both of these molecules to move with ease. Now entropy dictates that after a while the most mathematically probable case will be a system in which we have these two molecules even out. So basically we have the same molecules A on this side as on that side and the same number of B molecules on this side as on that side. We conclude that molecules tend to naturally move from a high concentration to a low concentration. 
So given situation A, we say that there exists a chemical concentration gradient and both molecules travel down their perspective chemical concentration, their respective chemical concentration gradient. Molecule A travels from the left side where we have a high concentration to the right side where we have a low concentration and molecule B moves in the opposite from a high concentration the right side to the left side where we have a low concentration and this is known as the chemical concentration gradient or simply our concentration gradient. Now what about the electrical gradient? Well in this case molecule A and molecule B were both neutral. They had no charge. Suppose our molecules now have a charge. So when molecules have electric charge there can also be an electric gradient and the electric gradient is a result of the electric repulsive and attractive forces that exist in nature. So this is basically a result of Brownian motion and the law of entropy and this is a result of the electric forces that exist in nature both positive or both um, attractive and repulsive electric forces. So let's suppose we look at situation three. In situation three, we have six C molecules that each have a positive one charge. And on the other side, the right side, we have six D molecules that each have a negative one charge. Once again, we are separated by a semi-permeable membrane that allows both of these molecules to pass through. So in this case, molecule C has a positive charge and molecule D has a negative charge, both molecules will move down their electrical gradient and this movement is a result of the electric attractive and repulsive forces that exist in nature. Molecule C moves to the right while molecule D will move to the left until the electric charge basically equilibrates between our two sides. So in this case, we have a positive six charge, in this case, we have a negative six charge and we have the separation of our charge. Now eventually after some time passes as a result of the attractive forces between the positive and negative as well as the repulsive forces between the negatives and the positives we basically have the following situation in which we have no charge, no net charge on the left side. We have 3D and 3C and so the charges cancel out and no charge on this side because they cancel out. And so in this scenario, we no longer have an electric gradient in the same way in this case, we no longer have our concentration gradient. Now, if we combine the concentration gradient with the electrical gradient we get the electrochemical gradient. So the electrochemical gradient basically combines these two different types of gradients. So notice that in this case we also had a concentration gradient because we had no molecule C on the right side all the molecules C were on this side. So on top of these molecules moving to the right side as a result of an electric gradient because there is an attractive be uh, attraction between the positive and negative these C molecules will also move to the right side because they will move from a high C concentration to a low C concentration. So this concept, this scenario actually incorporates both the concentration gradient and our electrical gradient. So at the end we have an even amount of molecules on both sides and the charges are also in equilibrium. We have no net charge here and no net charge here and this is the electrochemical gradient. So basically one of the purposes of our cell membrane is to create an electrochemical gradient and there are different modes by which our cell membrane actually allows the molecules or ions to pass through across the cell membrane and we'll discuss that in more detail in the next lecture.